Hello, my name is Olga Zaitsev and I'm the founder of the Olga Fertility Clinic. Since 2003, I've been devoting my medical practice to patients suffering from infertility, helping them achieve successful pregnancy and live birth even after multiple unsuccessful IVF attempts. My patients are usually not only people with a strong will, but they are also very logic and inquisitive. To regain hope and get motivation to move forward despite the years of trying, they wish not only to share the risk with the clinic, but also to get a clear explanation how it is possible to have a baby after so many unsuccessful attempts, and what exactly we are going to do differently in all the clinic. Here I will share with you how our knowledge and skills in fertility biology and genetics helps us define prognosis and share risk and achieve successful birth in many patients even they could not have been healed anywhere else. I will also explain how we count the number of IVF attempts with own eggs that we expect to be sufficient for achieving live birth. If the number of expected IVF attempts till live birth is realistic, a package with the fixed number of IVF attempts and money-back guarantee of live births can be offered. One of the most common reasons of why IVF doesn't work lies not in the woman, as many patients wrongly assume and often unfairly blame themselves for, but in the embryo. The human species is very complex, with many various unique functions. It is not so easy to pass on to the next generation the entire heritage of important genetic information. An egg is a huge cell, visible even with the naked eye. It contains a huge amount of valuable material. Not surprisingly, accurate cell division is not an easy task for a human egg. As a result, humans produce a huge number of embryos with an abnormal number of chromosomes, which, oddly enough, is the biological norm for our very complex and highly developed species. Embryos with abnormal number of chromosomes usually stop development and do not lead to an ongoing pregnancy and live birth. To achieve an ongoing pregnancy and live birth, we need to find an embryo with a normal number of chromosomes. To find out which embryo has a normal number of chromosomes, and which one has an abnormal number, we need to use a method called PGTA. PGTA is pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidies, a check of embryos, chromosomes, number, prior to embryo transfer. PGTA is carried out on the embryos on the fifth, sixth day of their development. Embryos are called blastocysts at that stage. In Olga clinic, the life birth rate per one embryo transfer of one blastocyst with a normal number of chromosomes is 49%. This means that out of 100 women who each had one embryo transfer of one blastocyst with a normal number of chromosomes, 49 will give birth. How many blastocysts with the normal number of chromosomes do we need on average to achieve live birth? on average to achieve live birth, for each patient we need to have two, three blastocysts with a normal number of chromosomes. How many IVF cycles do we need to find one blastocyst with a normal number of chromosomes? It depends on two main parameters. The number of blastocysts we expect to get in one IVF cycle in an individual patient, and the proportion of blastocysts with the normal number of chromosomes among those that we have managed to get. What does the number of blastocysts per one IVF cycle depend on? It depends on the number of eggs expected in one IVF cycle in an individual patient and on blastocyst formation rates, the proportion of fertilized eggs that turn into blastocysts in an individual egg and sperm combination. What does the expected number of eggs per one IVF cycle depend on? The expected number of eggs in one IVF cycle depends on the woman's egg reserve. Women are born with their individual egg reserve. 
which proportion of the eggs received will successfully get fertilized, which proportion of the fertilized eggs will turn into blastocysts. This depends on the potential of each egg plus sperm combination, how this genetic material is going to work together. In some egg plus sperm combinations, every second fertilized egg turns into blastocyst. In some, one in five. In some, even none. What determines the proportion of blastocysts with a normal number of chromosomes? The woman's age. The higher the age of the woman, the lower the percentage of chromosomally normal blastocysts formed from her eggs will be. For example, at the age of 35, one out of two blastocysts have the normal number of chromosomes. At the age of 38, one out of three. At the age of 43, one out of eight. So, the higher the age is, the more blastocysts we need to find one blastocyst with a normal number of chromosomes. Let's remember that to reach high probability of live birth, we need two, three blastocysts with a normal number of chromosomes. As the live birth rate per one embryo transfer of one blastocyst with normal number of chromosomes in all the clinic is 49%. We come to a real situation where if quality suffers, then quantity can help. What do I mean? If for one reason or another, in an individual woman or couple, we expect to receive just a few blastocysts per one IVF cycle, so the probability of finding two, three blastocysts with a normal number of chromosomes within one IVF cycle is low, we can calculate in advance the number of IVF cycles necessary to find these two, three blastocysts with a normal number of chromosomes in this woman or couple. If the number of these IVF cycles within which two, three blastocysts with a normal number of chromosomes can be found is foreseeable, we can offer the following conditions. We achieve live births within this fixed number of IVF cycles with own eggs or refund 100% of the package's costs. Here's an example. Let's imagine my patient is 38 years old. At the age of 38, one out of three blastocysts has a normal number of chromosomes. So, I need to receive at least six blastocysts to have a chance to find two, three blastocysts with a normal number of chromosomes for this patient. But, based on her reduced ovarian reserve, I expect her to have no more than two blastocysts per one IVF cycle. However, within three IVF cycles, I can get these six blastocysts. Thus, Within three IVF cycles, I have high probability of achieving live birth for my patient. So, I can offer this patient three IVF package with 100% live birth money back guarantee. If, after analyzing your medical situation, we see that receiving two, three blastocysts with a normal number of chromosomes is possible in your case within three IVF attempts with your own eggs, we can offer three IVF package with 100% live birth money back guarantee. Another example. Let's imagine my patient is 35 years old. At the age of 35, one out of two blastocysts have a normal number of chromosomes. So I need to receive at least four blastocysts to have a chance to find two, three blastocysts with a normal number of chromosomes. But due to the reduced ovarian reserve, I expect this patient to have no more than one blastocyst per one IVF cycle. However, within four IVF cycles, I can get these four blastocysts. It means that within four IVF cycles, I have a high probability of achieving live birth for this patient. So I can offer her four IVF package with 100% live birth money back guarantee. If, after analyzing your medical situation, we see that in order to receive two, three blastocysts with a normal number of chromosomes, you will need at least four IVF cycles, we can offer four IVF package with 100% live birth money back guarantee. If due to an advanced female reproductive age, reduced ovarian reserve, reduced blastocyst formation rates, 
or a combination of these factors, the expected number of IVF attempts with ONEX to receive a blastocyst with a normal number of chromosomes is uncountable and unpredictable, we will not be able to offer a money-back guarantee package with a fixed number of IVF attempts with own eggs. But instead, we can discuss such a package with donor eggs or a combined package. To discuss your individual situation, calculate the number of IVF attempts with own eggs till live birth and talk about possible alternatives such as egg donation, embryo adoption or combined packages please book a consultation with one of our expert doctors. Before the consultation, we will ask you to provide us with detailed information about your medical history, test results, and journals about your previous IVF attempts. This is usually dozens of pages of valuable information. We spent around eight hours studying previous documentation of each new patient. This helps us Turn the years of previous bad luck into your potential happy future. The more accurate information about your medical history you give us, the more accurate prognosis and more successful strategy we can offer. When you come to us, we will be glad to meet you and we make every effort so that in foreseeable future we achieve our mutual result, a baby in your arms.